Welcome back to story time, everyone. George, are you ready to say hello to our friends? We're going to say hi to our friends at ECEC, the preschool classes. Hi, Apple, Chipmunk, Firefly, Honeybee, Koala, Mallard, Otter, Rainbow, and Sunshine, as well as any of our other friends who are watching this story time. Welcome back. You may remember from our last story time, the hint for this week's letter was socks. I had some striped socks that I held up. Some other hints for this week's letter would be strawberry, star, sheep, scarecrow. You probably know what letter it is now. That's right, it's the letter S. The first song we're going to sing today is the alphabet song like we've been singing for these alphabet story times. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Great job, friends! The next song that we're going to sing is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Star starts with the letter S. Ready? Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. How I wonder what you are Up above the world so high Like a diamond in the sky Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are The next song that we're going to sing is Ba Ba Black Sheep Ready? And for this one, sheep starts with letter S. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master, one for the dame. One for the little boy who lives down the lane. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. Great job, friends! Our last song that we're going to do is a scarf song. So scarf starts with the letter S. And you can use anything that you have at home to wave around, like a dish towel or a piece of cloth or a scarf. Or you can just wave your hands. Ready? We wave our scarves together. We wave our scarves together, we wave our scarves together, because it's fun to do. We toss our scarves together, we toss our scarves together, we toss our scarves together, because it's fun to do. We twirl our scarves together, we twirl our scarves together, we twirl our scarves together, because it's fun to do. We spin our scarves together. We spin our scarves together. We spin our scarves together. Because it's fun to do. We wave our scarves together. We wave our scarves together. We wave our scarves together. Because it's fun to do. Great job, friends. So I have some books for you this week that all have things that start with the letter S in the title. And the first one is The Seals on the Bus by Lenny Hort and illustrated by G. Brian Karras. And in this one, the, it's similar to the wheels on the bus, but there are seals on the bus along with a lot of other animals. So this one is a silly one. 
you can sing along to it if you know the wheels on the bus song and it's just a lot of fun. The next one is You Are Not Small by Anna Kang and illustrated by Christopher Wyant. And in this one, small starts with the letter S. But this one is just kind of fun because it talks about perspective and how somebody who seems small to one person or one animal in this case um, may not really appear small to something that's even smaller. So it talks about perspective and it's kind of a fun little illustrated story. And then we have Scaredy Squirrel Makes a Friend by Melanie Watt and Scaredy and Squirrel both start with the letter S. And Scaredy Squirrel is rather scared of a lot of different things, but he makes a plan to make a friend and you'll just have to read the book to find out what happens. And then the last one that I have is The Little Mouse, The Red Ripe Strawberry, and The Big Hungry Bear by Don and Audrey Wood and illustrated by Don Wood. Strawberry starts with the letter S. And in this one there is a mouse who has a red ripe strawberry and he's trying to keep it away from the big hungry bear. So those are some books I think you'll enjoy. We'll bring George back, but before we do that, I have our hint for our next letter, and that is a train. So think about what letter might the word train start with, and don't forget to look for things that start with the letter S this week. And now we'll bring George back and say goodbye for now. Ready to say goodbye, George? Bye for now, friends. We'll see you again soon. Thanks for coming to Storytime.